Hi everyone, it's Sarah here at the Rapid City Public Library here to present another story time short for you. Today we will be reading a book about a little boy who loved books. Yes, he loved books so much, but not quite like you and me. No, no. He loved books in a special way. Oliver Jeffress presents The Incredible Book Eating Boy. But before we get started, I'd like to thank Penguin Random House for allowing us to share this story today. The Incredible Book-Eating Boy by Oliver Jeffers. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Henry loved to eat books. <laughs> It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't sure at first and tried eating a single word, just to test it. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then the whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. By Wednesday, he had eaten a whole book. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. Henry loved eating all sorts of books, storybooks, dictionaries or atlases, joke books, books about facts, even math books. But red ones were his favorite to eat. But here is the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. Hmm. He ate a book about goldfish and then he knew what to feed Ginger. Before long, he could do his father's crosswords in the newspaper. And he was even smarter than his teacher in school. Henry loved being smart. He thought that if he kept going, he might even be the smartest person on earth. So he kept eating books and he kept getting smarter and smarter and smarter. He went from eating books whole to eating them three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussing and he wanted to know it all. But then things started going not quite so well. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> In fact, they started going very, very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. Uh-oh. He was beginning to feel a little ill. But here's the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting all mixed up. Six plus two equals three. Two plus six equals elephant? He didn't have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. Suddenly, Harry didn't feel very smart at all. More than one person told him he should stop eating books. So Henry gave up eating books and sat sadly for a long time. What was he to do now? Then after a while and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half eaten book from the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up and he began to read. And it was so good. Henry discovered that he loved to read and he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. It would just take a little bit longer. Now Henry reads all the time, although every now and then, Henry will take an occasional <laughs> bite out of the book. The end. Oh man, what did we learn boys and girls? We probably shouldn't be eating books. Books are for reading, not food. Well, that's all we have. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.